Hey guys, it's Ron. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. So while I'm a fan of having physical equipment, uh, you know, routers to really get your hands on, it's not always feasible. You might be traveling or what have it. Uh, so having this installed on your laptop or whatever, you know, helps you continue to work, uh, you know, through through a book or through labs. Also, through uh, Cisco Packet Tracer you can generate your own labs for other people to do and so you can kinda send labs to each other and kinda help each other's education uh, and consequently you can download Cisco Packet Tracer online so not talking about shelling out a lot of money for it so this is great for new students who haven't made that jump to buying real equipment so in this tutorial I just kinda wanna walk you through how to generate those labs for other people uh, if you've never used Cisco Packet Tracer before, not a big deal. You should pick up enough along the way to be able to, you know, work it yourself. So here we go. So we're going to fire up the Activity Wizard. All right. The Activity Wizard has three different settings here for your profile. I typically stick with Novice because, again, I, I am a novice, really, uh, you know, uh, to Cisco Packet Tracer. Um, the intermediate and advanced just give you some more options that you can work through uh, but pretty much everything I've done uh, novice works just fine so the first tab is instructions so these this is what is going to be displayed to the person that starts up the lab so I'm just going to paste in uh, some basic settings and this is HTML so uh, nothing too crazy so you paste in write in whatever tasks you want them to complete you can preview it. Okay, yeah, this is an IP addressing lab. If you complete this, you are one with Cisco. You know, and you're going to give them different tasks or what have it. Now you can, using the bottom bar, you can add extra pages and what have it. Um, I'll let you explore that on your own. Uh, answer network. So this is where you're actually going to build a network for your users uh, to use. Uh, and so for those of you who are brand new. Uh, to packet tracer this is basically what you're gonna end up seeing is you're gonna drag out a router drag out a router or whatever you're trying to build you're gonna bring it up you've got these different interfaces that you can use so I'm gonna turn it off I'm gonna drag out a serial port just a WIC 1T I'm gonna turn it back on close it out bring up the other one turn off WIC 1T turn back on nothing too high-tech about that right there alright I've got my connections down here alright so I'm gonna slide across and I've got serial DCE because we're talking uh, uh, serial connections so the first one that I grab is gonna end up being the DCE side so I'll go serial 000 to serial 000 and then I need some hosts so let's drag computer up here I'll drag another computer up here. All right. We'll go back to my connections. I'm going to slide over. I'm going to hook up uh, console port. So RS-232 to console. RS-232 to console. All right. Then I'm going to do a crossover cable because we're going from a computer to a router. I'll put it on 0, 01 crossover fast ethernet 01 all right and then we can we can drag these around so it, it kind of makes sense to everything kind of lines up right all right so notice everything is red that means it's not working so what we can do is we can either configure it from the host bring up the host I can go to my desktop bring the tab down for you I can go to terminal 9600 is the default and I bring it up so this is just like a real router to an extent would you like to do initial configuration dialog I'm gonna say no turn to get started and here I am at the prompt so I can do an enable fig T host name we'll call this router a uh, we can do our interface uh, FA0 slash 1 IP address 192.168.0. Uh, we'll 
Call this one one, two for five, two for five, two for five, two for five, two, for two. No shut. Uh, interface serial zero slash zero. Oops, it's zero slash zero slash zero. The IP address one seven two dot sixteen dot zero dot one two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five two fifty two. No shut. All right, and right. All right. So I, I've basically configured a couple interfaces on the router. Now I'm going to do IP configuration here. Static. 192.168.0.2.255.255.255.252.192.168.0.1 So now I've assigned the gateway, I've assigned my IP address, and I'm using the correct mask. So if I've done everything right, oop, wrong button. I got command prompt here, I can ping 192.168.0.1 and it comes up so I know the fast ethernet is programmed correctly. All right, so now I can hop over to my router on this side. I'm going to go to the command line interface. Nope. Enable config t host name router b uh, interface fa zero slash one. We'll do IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot five. 255.255.255.252. No shut. No. If I could type today, no shut. Interface serial 0 slash 0 0. IP address 192. Or this, is, this is the 172 network. 16.0.2. 5.255.255.255. No shut. Now, if we do a uh, do show controllers serial zero slash zero slash zero, we notice that it's a DCE right there. So we're gonna do a uh, a uh, clock rate. So now we've set a clock rate and show IP interface brief. If I could spell brief correctly. All right, so we are up, up, and up, up. Ping 192.1, or wait, I haven't configured my computer yet. So let's do a ping 172.16.0.1. So there's the other router. Show CDP neighbor. Uh, CDP ne must not be up yet. So let's come down and configure our PC down here. So we got our desktop, IP configuration, 192.168.0.6. 255.255.255.252.192.168.0. We were 5. I'm going to go command prompt ping 2.168.0.5. And that works. Uh, if we try to ping 192.168.0.1, it shouldn't work. So We'll come up here, config T, bring this down here for you to see. IP route 172.0.0.255.255.255.252, serial 000, and right. Realize I'm rushing here, but don't want you to get too bent around the axle uh, with all the little stuff. So IP route 192.168.0.4 network 255.255.255.252. Uh, we'll send this also out serial 000. So, whoops, I missed the route. And Ping 192.168.0.6 should be the other computer, and we've got connectivity. So that's basically what we want: is we have a network that's functioning just the way we want it to. 
and then we're going to go and click the activity wizard answer and it's going to bring up the window again so now uh, in the answer network we have all these all these down here uh, that are basically a part of our network so we're going to we're going to mark out what we think is important that we wanted the user to have completed so if I bring up PC0 and let's let's go back uh, show answer network so I have PC0 here PC1 here router 0 here router 1 here so I'm only going to test them on configuring this side All right. so PC0 uh, I want them on my ports fast ethernet they configured it with the correct IP address uh, and they use the correct subnet mask up here is the default gateway so I'll test them on that as well and that's all I care about for PC0 now for router 0 I want to make sure let's see here should be ports ports fast ether 0 1 I want to make sure they gave it the correct IP address um, and that where is the there we go there's the mask and port status to make sure that port is up all right I'm going to do the same thing here support port status mask and there's my IP alright now I can do keyword searches up here so I can look for route so let's see router there's for router A that's the host name so I could have done a search for host name maybe not let's go back filter well, you can you can play around with it. It's it's not that difficult. But what I'm looking for here should have been route routes. So maybe I needed to put an S on that. I want to make sure they did that static route. And that's it. So I'm just going to test them on those couple of commands on router zero and those couple of commands on PC zero. You can do connectivity tests. What you end up doing is, uh, you know, adding these PDUs between the two computers. And once they build the entire network, uh, that PDU should complete, uh, and so their connectivity tests will go through. But I'm not, I'm not going to do that in this in la this lab. So then we have initial network. So this is what they're initially going to see when they start up. So I'm just going to copy from my answer network. Bam. So they're going to get the same exact uh, setup as uh, you know, I built, right? So you can establish a couple of defaults for them. Uh, me personally, I kind of like to go back to the network and destroy it there. So I'll come up here to my original computer. I'll go back to IP configuration. I'll set it to DHCP so that uh, it doesn't have an IP address come to my router enable config t no we'll do a host name router we'll do a interface fa0 slash 1 no IP address shut interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 no IP address and shut uh, do show well, I don't think that works in this thing show run right there that's what I'm looking for I want to take my IP route out copy big T no paste end all right so we've taken the IP out of out of this computer and we've taken both interfaces offline so now the network is broken right so that's what we want because we want them to come in and fix the network 
all right now we can set a password on this so that they can't change uh, can't get in here and change any of the activity stuff I think I typed this wrong all right then we can do test activity all right test activity is going to basically give us the same exact thing that they were given and uh, it's, it's basically running through the scenario for them so if you notice there's a completion zero percent you can do check results so this is these are the things that you know I was making sure that you know they configured so these are the items that they're gonna have to complete in order to get a hundred percent right so I'm just gonna exit out so in this initial network back up here I can go to locking options so this is a way to kind of lock down the network so they can only do certain things. So in my topology, I can do I can make sure they can't create devices, remove devices, toggle power. Um, I don't want them to move devices or use the CLI tab. Um, so there's all these different things that I can set on here, right? Uh, if you go let's see existing devices I want to make sure that they can't do anything basically to router one or PC one because those are already configured we can go into router one I don't want them to be able to get into the configure tab I want them to have to use the console port so these are all different things that you can do so that now when you go to test connect connectivity and they try to click on here it's like oh it's locked I can't use that but they can go here uh, and they can go to their desktop they can go to the terminal make sure those settings are correct and they can get in that way alright so as they complete items for example we'll do enable fig t host name router a so now they've completed a task so in their uh, task up here, uh, they, they've started to build a percentage, okay? And you can, uh, again, that, that's up to you how, how many tasks you want them to complete. Uh, you can also lock these tabs out so that they can't even look at the assessment items to see what you're looking for. There's a, there's a lot of control that you have. Uh, and then once complete, you can you know, give them a message you know hey congratulations you know all this kind of stuff uh, on the same lines you can also uh, let me see where was it uh, you can add timers so you can give them a specific amount of time so answer network settings and you can give them a timer so you have 10 minutes to complete this lab and if you can't complete it it ends and they have to reset and start over all right. So once you're happy uh, with the way things have gone, uh, you can do a uh, uh, a save or a save as. You can name it whatever you want. It ends up being a PKA file. So this is just test save. So now if I close this out, let's see. Yes, I want to exit. I'm going to go ahead and go. Cisco packet tracer saves fire this up and this is what you get so this is what what the the user is going to get they're going to get a pop-up with all the stuff that you wrote and they get your base lab and they've got to start going to town alright so pretty cool tool for one just if you don't have a router being able to get your you know get into the command line run some real commands instead of just reading it in the book uh, but secondly you know if, if you're trying to be more of the mentor kind of role you can generate labs for people send them to them have them try it out challenge them and so you know you kind of help each other out that way so I hope you found the uh, tutorial uh, handy uh, I hope you know you get something out of it so uh, thanks for watching man